Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. My name is Akib and here I share with you some great automation ideas by which you can automate your day-to-day -day repetitive manual tasks and save your time and energy. So here in this video, you are going to learn how you can automate your lead collection process from a form that you have in your website and collect that lead into Pipedrive application. Let me show you how. So here I've taken the example of Webflow application in which you, uh, you can create a whole website and you can attach a form in that website. And as and when any visitor is going to fill this form, the data of that person is going to be added here in Pipedrive application as a person automatically. Okay, so here it is, it will surely save your time in manually copy pasting the data from Webflow to Pipedrive. And to make this happen, we are using Pabli Connect, which is an integration and automation tool. And guys, the best part of setting up this whole automation is that you will not require any coding skills or programming knowledge. So anyone can set up this whole automation very easily. So now let's set up this automation together. So guys, the first step to set up this automation is to log in into your Pabli Connect account and reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect. For this, you can check the link that we have pasted in the description from where you can set up your free Pabli Connect account in just two minutes and it will provide you 100 free automation tasks for every new month, okay? So after setting up your account, you can log in and reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect very easily. And here on this dashboard, you have to start working by creating a workflow. So to create a workflow, just click here on this create workflow button. And here you can give any suitable name to your workflow. So let me fill the name here. So guys, here I have given the name to this workflow as add persons from Webflow responses into Pipedrive automatically. Now I can click here on the create button and you can see your workflow getting created uh, like this. Okay. And on this page, guys, you will see these two things, the trigger and the action. So this automation is going to work on these two things. So the trigger is the happening of that event, which is going to trigger this workflow or start this workflow. And the action would be the response towards that trigger. As in our use case, the trigger would be a new response from Webflow form. And the action towards that trigger would be to add the same person who have filled the form as a person in pipe drive. Okay. So first of all, you have to set up this trigger. So from this choose app field, choose a trigger application first, which is Webflow in our case. Search for Webflow. This is it, select it. So guys, you have to choose the trigger event as new form submission. So it will trigger this workflow when a new form submission occurs, okay? And it will give you this URL. This is called as a webhook URL, guys. And it is used to fetch the data out from any external application to here in Pabli Connect, okay? So to make the connection with Webflow, uh, you can read these instructions here. So you, uh, let me show you how you can do this. So guys, this is my web, Webflow applications dashboard. And here I, I have created this Ashirai's trendy site. So I can show you this. This is a site in which I have this form connected. Okay, so I'm, I have just created to show you the demo. You can customize it. You can make a beautiful form and attach it to your beautiful website. Okay, I am just showing you the demo. That's why I've created this uh, simple form only. Okay, so here I want to uh, make the connection with Webflow. So for that, just uh, click here on this uh, uh, dots here. And from the settings section, click on settings. And in your site settings, you will find this integrations tab. Click on integrations. And under this integrations, scroll down here. Okay. So here you can see we have this add webhook option here when you scroll down. So you have to click on add webhook and from this trigger type, you have to select the trigger type as form submission. Okay. And here in this webhook URL field, you have to copy paste the webhook URL that you got here. So just click on copy from here in your workflow and paste this webhook URL here in this webhook URL field like this, then click on add webhook. Okay. And you can see, a new webhook is added here, right? And as you have copied this webhook URL, it started showing this waiting for the webhook's response. So this means now you have to perform a test submission or a demo submission of the form. Okay, so we are going to fill this form uh, here. I have this website form. So I'm going to fill this form uh, as a demo lead and I'm going to capture the response of this form in our workflow. Let me show you. So here I'm filling the details uh, of the person who is filling this form let's say 
Christopher Columbus is filling this form okay and this is the email address of this person this is the phone number okay so it is asking device model let's say <clears throat> iPhone 11 its battery backup is 6 hours performance age sounds 4 camera 5 okay and I'm submitting this form here okay you can see the form is uh, successfully submitted here now let's see in public connect if we got the date of this form submission and here you can see in this response receive section we got the details of the person who was our lead like this okay and all the responses we got from the form is here right now I want to add this lead in pipe drive application as a person for that to happen you have to connect your pipe drive application in the section step okay so pipe drive is a CRM come uh, pipeline creating application where you can visualize your sales workflow okay so you can uh, create a person here <clears throat> So select the action event as, event as create person then click on connect and from this window select add new connection and here it is asking the API token to make the connection. So you will find the API token in the preferen pre personal preferences section of a pipe drive. Let me show you the, uh, this. So this is my pipe drive applications dashboard guys and here I am under the contact section and here when you click on this profile icon you will find this personal preferences option click on it and under this pre pre personal preferences you will find this API tab click on it and here you can see this API key so you can generate a new key by clicking on this generate button or uh, if you have already a key generated you can use the same key just click on copy here and paste this token key here then click on save and you will be connected with pipe drive okay and here it is asking name and all these things to create a person in pipe drive so i'm going to map this data that i have received here in this first step to create a person in pipe drive okay so to map the name just click here and you will find this webflow option in the drop down and when you click on it you will find all the data that you have received in the first step so from here only i'm going to map the name and i'm mapping the full name and the owner of the account is ashi khanna okay the organization is others for the email I'm using the webflow option <clears throat> okay so this is the email for the phone number use the same process okay label option enter the person label option ID you can get the label option ID by get person field size so, so this is not a compulsory thing so you can leave this blank this is that it has some other uses right now we do not need it and you can select the visibility as a you can select the visibility as entire company or visibility groups you can select these options from these options okay now you can uh, check the connection with pipe drive by clicking on save and send test request and a new person the whose data we have mapped here is going to be added here in the person section let me open it in pipe drive the contact section here we have three people right now let me click here on save and send test request and you can see this is the response we have received here now let me show you in pipe drive if we got the data and here you can see Christopher Columbus got added here as a new contact in pipe drive okay so this is how it is going to work guys and if we are done setting up this automation so you have to set up this automation only once guys after that you don't have to do anything manually here after that Whenever someone is going to fill your form, he is, uh, the data of the person will be added here like this. Like, so let me give you a quick recap what we have done here. So first of all, in the trigger section, I connected Webflow application with new form submission as the trigger event. Okay, then we capture the response from the website form by filling the form like this. Okay, and here in the action step, I connected pipe drive application to create a person in pipe drive. And we map the data like this so when you map the data what will happen in real time whenever any person is going to fill the form this mapped data is going to change and a new person is going to be added in pipe drive automatically okay 
And guys, the good part is you can use this same workflow that I've just created because I'm going to paste the link of this same workflow in the description so that you can clone it in your own free Pavli Connect account and start using this automation instantly. Guys, thank you so much for watching our video and please, please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section. And if you have any queries related to this application, please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link. And guys, we are open to ideas. If you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business, please do let us know in the comment section. And if you like our work, please subscribe to our channel.